This is Franklin, Tennessee, one of the most sought after cities in the entire country, known for its rolling hills, southern charm, and small town feel. And for the next couple of minutes, I'm gonna show you everything you need to know about Franklin, Tennessee. We're gonna start this tour in historic downtown Franklin. This is what everybody sees online. And we just wanna take you guys and kind of show you what you have to do, shopping, uh, places to eat, um, just kind of everything. Yeah. Um, so we're actually on Columbia Avenue. We just passed the police department and we're just coming right into the heart of historic downtown Franklin. As you can see, you've got a few different small shops on the outskirts, but we're about to go right down Main Street and there's just tons of boutique shops, yeah. you know, just small town store feel and it's just a small town feel of downtown Franklin. And I think what a lot of people love about this is the Southern charm. Mm -hmm. we, just had, we just had some clients come in from uh, Tampa and they were originally looking in Brentwood to live and then they, you know, ventured off, came down to Franklin and fell in love with the Southern charm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we actually, this is October 31st, we're filming it, so it's Halloween. Happy um, Halloween. Happy Halloween. But last weekend, there was actually Pumpkin Fest. So all of this street was blocked off. The Middle Tennessee area, everyone comes to downtown Franklin for the festivals. Um, they're, they're, there's nothing like it anywhere else. They have just, there's basically just seasonal festivals. There'll be one around Christmas time, there's parades. And I think um, a lot of people don't really realize like historic Franklin is not like this big place. Now, Franklin, the city is massive. Mm -hmm. And on this tour, we're gonna show you Historic downtown Franklin, we're gonna show you Cool Springs, which is kind of like the newer area, shopping, dining, all that good stuff. And then we're gonna take you on five neighborhood tours, probably like three to four, five, our top neighborhoods, and just kind of show you different areas um, around Franklin. So here we are, we're driving down Main Street right now. You can see you got the Franklin Theater here, yeah. bunch of um, shops and boutiques. I mean, these stores have been here for years and Great years. shopping. Great shopping. You've got Tin Cottage, yeah. Hester Cook. You've got so many different little shops. Uh, Gray's was my first restaurant that, I've, that I went to. A couple I restaurants down here. Uh, and then this is the circle. This is the main circle here in downtown Franklin. And this is a newer building right here, this 231 Public Square. You got Ruby Sunshine. There's also um, co-working spaces and offices in that building. When we come down this street, there will be a few different houses. There's historic homes. You're not gonna see any brand new construction homes right here. It's all gonna be, if there's any kind of renovation, they're gonna keep the historic um, exterior just to f make sure we contain, maintain that downtown Franklin feel. A lot of these homes are renovated in the inside, but they do have the uh, historic facade. That's just part and we're of not gonna be able to go into all the history of downtown Franklin, but if you're a history buff, I encourage you to look up all of the history of downtown Franklin and the Franklin area. Yeah. You'll get lost in all of it. You'll see in some of these houses, there's historic signs, um, you know, notating who lived there and the history behind it. So you can get lost in all of that here in downtown Franklin. Let's talk, let's talk about traffic. What is traffic like? During rush hour times, you're not gonna wanna be around here. Yeah, Maybe so it's, it's, it's in down, like in historic is two lanes. Mm -hmm. You know, it's two lane roads. What, what are average price points here, Brandon, for these historic homes right here? Any of these homes, um, you're looking at small square footage, small footprints, and it's gonna be at least a million dollars. Um, it's very rare to find a home that's, you know, semi-renovated or updated. Um, that's under a million dollars here, unless you're under a thousand square feet. But anything over a thousand square feet, 2000 square feet in that range, it's gonna be million, multiple millions of dollars. That's pretty much a majority of historic downtown Franklin. You do have Frothy Monkey here, which is a coffee staple. So whenever you're in town, especially downtown here, you gotta stop at Frothy Monkey. You ask get, for the Brandon John ask special. Ask for Brandon John special, you'll get a free coffee. Yeah. Whenever you, if you're watching this video, we should set that up. If you do come in and you ask and they say, we don't know what that is, then just call us and send us a picture or text us and send us a picture of your seat or whatever, and we'll give you the free coffee. Yeah. All right, so we're heading outside of downtown Franklin. We're gonna go directly west. We're going down Highway 96 
and we're gonna head towards one of our top five neighborhoods in Franklin, which is West Haven. And on the way there, we're gonna pass Jim Warren Park. This is where you're gonna have all your recreational sport fields close to downtown Franklin. There's a few others scattered in Brentwood and across Middle Tennessee. Um, but you're gonna go here a lot if you are playing recreational sports or travel sports. So I think uh, another, another good thing about West Haven is we're about five to eight minutes away from historic downtown Franklin. And then you're about, would you say 15 minutes of Cool Springs? Mm -hmm. To the heart. To the heart of Cool Springs, which we're gonna go later in the video, uh, where you do all your shopping and stuff like that. Yep. But I know a lot of families that live in West Haven, they just get their groceries delivered. And I mean, you have a grocery store. Have a grocery in store West in Haven. Yeah. So we'll talk about it, but West Haven is a master plan community. So it has everything that you, all your necessities are in your neighborhood. We're passing Warren Park. Jim Warren Park. Jim Warren Park right now. If you are curious about other parks like Brentwood, Franklin, all Middle Tennessee parks that includes Jim Warren, there's a video to be linked in the description as well that you can go into all the details of that. Um, I've done a full video on West Haven as well. That'll be linked below. They just opened up Mac Hatcher. Mac Hatcher was a road that kind of took you from south of Franklin, uh, coming from Spring Hill area to Cool Springs. And now it kind of loops around and it connects West Haven um, and then also south of downtown Franklin all together, it kind of draws a little bit of a circle and it gets you to Cool Springs a lot faster than it used to. You can actually start to see West Haven here. You can actually see the scale of how big this master plan community is. It's one of the very few, it's only how many master plan communities are in, in Middle Tennessee? Maybe two, There's just like this there one? Three. The four actually now. Stevens Valley is a brand new one, yep. and then also June Lake and Spring Hill is a brand June new one. June Lake, there were Berry June Farms Lake. was the other master plan, and then West Haven is the original, it's the staple. It's started the master plan community movement. Um, huge investment by Southern Land and early guess what, 2000s. Guys, they're all in Williamson County. Actually, Stevens Valley, is it? In, There's a piece of it. A piece in of Davidson. it is in David, yeah, a piece of it is in Davidson County. Yep. So. so if you live in the townhomes in Stevens Valley, you're actually in Davidson, Davidson County. County. So make And that's sure. important if you have kids and you're wanting to have them in Williamson County schools, um, or if you're wanting to compare Davidson County versus Williamson County resale value for specific homes, it does weigh in on you know resale value just because of Williamson County schools and the name and what it's known for. All right, Brandon, where do you rank West Haven on the, on the scale of best to not so best master plan communities. I mean, I think it's I think it's the best. Yeah. It's the best. I mean, we're early on the other three phases. I mean, other three master plan communities on Berry Farms, June Lake, and Stevens Valley, but you know, this is just fully developed. It's hard to see. I mean, yeah, yeah. you can see it. Yeah, so we're coming into it now. You have the fire station to our left. You got this beautiful lake. Uh, There's lake actually pond here. remote controlled boats out there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool boats. stuff. And then as you drive into West Haven, you have all of these shops. I mean, you have a spirit shop, a uh, flower shop, taco shop. You gotta that's even good. have a post office yep. right here. Salon, you've got your gyms, you've got, you got, got gyms. your you got uh, bar. Pier bar, you've got also like a CrossFit style uh, gym, you've got Scouts Pub, Scouts that's Pub which I heard is pizza place. Really good food. Um, and, there's always kayaking. And, and, fishing in the and back behind us, you also have Kroger, mm -hmm. which is a southern grocery store. So you've got townhomes that are right off of the lake, and then you'll see more townhomes kind of closer to the heart in the center of West Haven. But as you get pushed into, you know, the outer, you know, phases of West Haven, you'll find single family homes. And we, I'm starting to fall more and more in love with West Haven. So let's talk about the actual houses and size of homes that you're going to get in West Haven. As you can tell, uh, they're very small lots. Um, zero lot lines, you've got the townhomes, but then you also have single family homes that range all the way up to, you know, high 4,000 square feet. But that's as high as you get out here in West Haven. And even though on those, you're still max looking at a third of an acre lot. Yeah. I think what a lot of people want to know too is like, how does it feel going through here? Like what? As we're driving through West Haven right now, what does it feel like to you? I mean, you feel like you're in an oasis. I mean, the landscaping is phenomenal here. Um, the trees are mature. You've got sidewalks everywhere you can look. You'll find golf carts driving around here. It, this is its own community. You kind of feel detached from Franklin and Cool Springs and the hustle and bustle that comes with that. And you kind of feel like you're you know, in your own little resort. We actually talked to a homeowner and they said that 
their kids thought it was like growing up in Disney World. Yeah. I because mean, they, they, on Fridays or after school or whatever, they would drive their golf cart down and go get ice cream. Yeah. Like, I mean, if you've ever been to Disney World, this feels like a, like Disney World. Like like Brandon said, the ha- the homes are really close together. Um, some, unique, some, custom yeah, homes. C- unique, custom. Some are zero lot line, which means they're, you know, they share a wall. And then there are some that are single family, so they're single standing homes. They don't share a wall. But everything just feels so well manicured. And it's it's really, I mean, it's really cool. Yeah, the, everything's close together. You're, you're buying a home in West Haven because you want to buy into the community. You want to know your neighbors. You want to have access to the exclusive, you know, resort style pools, feel like you're inside of, you're a homeowner in West Haven. And, you know, with that comes, you know, exclusiveness yeah. and prestige. Feels like something out of a little uh, fairy tale book as we're driving through here in the fall. You can just see the leaves changing. So average price points. Well, you've got quite a large range of home sizes. You know, you've got some that are sub 2,000 square feet. Then you also have, like we talked about, over 4,000 square feet. So the home prices do range, but you really can't find anything. I'll, I'll kind of start with the floor. You really can't find anything less than 800,000. Yeah, 800,000, eight, 900,000. And the 800,000 is going to be, you know, one of those earlier phases, early 2000s when it was built, probably very minimal updates. You're not looking at 4,000 square feet. Um, you're looking at around that 2,000 square foot mark. Now, new construction, it goes all the way up to high three millions for a new construction home with 4,000, you know, 3,600 to 4,000 square feet. I think Ford has a couple listed that are... In the twos? In the twos. Yep. So this phase that we're coming up on is the newer phase, which is Southern Land. There's another phase on the, the other side of West Haven, closer to the golf course, which is primarily Ford homes and Legend homes, but this one was gonna be Southern Land. There's a few other builders, but those are kind of the top builders right now that are active in the community. And over here, <clears throat> you're gonna see a, a range of homes, smaller homes, bigger homes on bigger lots. I would say the smallest home you can get here is probably uh, three bedrooms. In this newer phase, you can go all the way up to five or six bedrooms in somebody's homes. I mean, they're building like crazy. We just closed on a house right around the corner and uh, they're already digging out places to build these next few homes. Yeah, and to give you an idea, the home that we just closed on is actually 20, around 2,400 square feet and it went for just under a million dollars. There's really not a lot of negotiation you can do with, with these people. Yeah. They're really calculated with when they build, when they release inventory. And so things are, when it's on the, like, when it's on the market, it's gone in a couple weeks. They do it so that way there's also, you know, consistent appreciation. It's not just flood the market with inventory and have the buyers and the whole market kind of battle it out. Everything is calculated here in West Haven. Yeah, they did a re- really good job uh, releasing the floor plans. So like we've touched on, you have two different resort style um, areas, resort style pools, pickleball courts, tennis courts. You also have a golf course. Um, you have to purchase separate membership into the West Haven Golf Course. You also have a Williamson County Elementary School inside of West Haven. You really can't beat it. The walkability, parents are just walking their kids or driving them on their golf court, golf carts to school in the morning. So that's a pretty cool treat to be able to do that by living in West Haven. Yeah, I would say a big factor for people moving here is walkability, the comfort of being in a master plan community, access to all of the amenities that you have, and you're so close to downtown historic Franklin. Uh, mature trees, the community feel, there's a lot of things going on. School in your backyard. You can't really be Large res- sidewalks. like Large side, you have sidewalks and you have resort style clubhouse. It truly is its own community. Yeah. Great place to raise a family, great place to retire. West Haven's actually building brand, the first homes of their entire section of 55 plus community. It's actually on the other side of Mac Catcher, like I talked about, that new road that was just built, um, but that'll also obviously get all the access to West Haven's amenities, but it's for 55 plus. And one other thing that it makes it good for, like I touched on, is investment properties. We've seen strong appreciation inside of West Haven, no matter you know how tough the market 
you know, goes, there's been strong demand in the past and there continues to be strong demand of people wanting to live and rent inside of West Haven. Yeah. And if you have a parent that you want to move, if you live in West Haven, you have a parent that wants to be close to you, ask us about the family opportunity uh, loan. That could be a great investment to get your parents close or get them into the uh, 55 plus community, get another investment property. 100%. Just ask us about that. Yep. We love to advise our clients on finding the best deals possible and um, just making the most out of investment. I was actually checking on a home here in West Haven, one of our clients, um, they actually just purchased it and closed on it two weeks ago. And they actually bought it as a rental. They want to move there, they live in Illinois, they want to move and live in Middle Tennessee and they want to eventually live inside of West Haven. Um, but they wanted to get an entry home, something to kind of, you know, sink into the Middle Tennessee area, which is this home that they buy. It's a rental property. And, you know, once we started working with the numbers with them, it's a brand new construction home, but they started to realize that the rentals here outperform out of basically every other neighborhood in Middle Tennessee. You're looking at over $2 a square foot, sometimes up to $2.50 a square foot. And to compare that to the average outside of West Haven, it's all day long around $1.30. So you're looking at potentially a dollar more square foot that you can get for rent. So it makes it an awesome investment property as well. All right, so we are leaving West Haven. We're actually on Matt Catcher. That road that I told you takes you from West Haven right into downtown Cool Springs. We just passed BGA. I want to touch on a few of the different private school opportunities. If you lived in Franklin, you have Fellowship Christian Academy, which is right outside of West Haven. You also have BGA, which is Battleground Academy. You've got CPA, which is Christ Presbyterian Academy, um, BA, Brentwood Academy, Endsworth, and plenty more options. Those are just a few off the top of my head. A lot of them are in North Brentwood and Southwest Nashville area. BGA and FCA is right here in the Cool Springs, Franklin area. Yeah, and we're gonna do a video. We're gonna do a separate video on just schools. We're gonna do a 2024 version of um, top schools to look for, for your kids, public, private. So be on the lookout for that video. It'll probably be linked somewhere in the top corner. So we're almost in Cool Springs now. I would say what? It's about like a 10 to 15 minute drive. Mm -hmm. Easy, 10, 12 minutes. I love the drive into down into Cool Springs. Like mm -hmm. coming down into the hills, you can see the beautiful foliage. Yeah. Fall is like the, the perfect season here. But this is where people do all their shopping, dining, entertainment. This is it. This is where all of, like Sam said, all of the shopping. This right. is where your Whole Foods are, like we talked about earlier. Tra Trader Joe's. Yeah. Um, you've got your Best Buys, your Targets, your... Get your big box stores. Everything and it's, it's all relatively new, I would say. Mm -hmm. right. And if you got Cool Springs Galleria, which is also your shopping mall, so that's gonna have your you know every store you can think of. You got Apple Store, American Eagles, your you know all those types of stores, Pottery Barns, Chicos that you would think of that would be in a shopping mall. That is right here in Cool Springs as well. So we just turned off of Mac Hatcher, and now we're on Cool Springs Boulevard. This will just take you right through the heart of Cool Springs. Um, and there's also Carruthers and then also Mallory Lane that takes you um, on the west and east side of Cool Springs. I'm gonna start right here at Whole Foods. Yep, so this is McEwen. And McEwen on the, on the left side that we're going right now, you've got a few different apartment complexes. They've also built out um, office spaces. It's a mixed use area and it's all relatively new. Some new construction opening restaurants right now. But yeah, over here you got Shake Shack, you have um, Perry Steakhouse. Perry Steakhouse. You've got a wine bar, yeah. um, you've got coffee shops, you've got Jenny's Ice Cream. There's like a little turf area where you'll see people playing cornhole. There's a sports bar over there. So if you're asking yourself, all right, what, what is there to do in Cool Springs? As an adult, these are some of the places you can come out, be seen, have a couple of drinks with your friends, have a couple of cocktails, and really just enjoy the night. So our right over here, you have Brick Top, you have, um, Whole Foods, Whole Foods, a couple Mouya, other restaurants. Uh, restaurants. You've got Lululemon over there, and this is a really great view of Cool Springs because we're coming up on. We're about to go through an intersection, which is Mallory Lane, which goes just goes north on the west side of I-65 down Cool Springs. You'll get to the Cool Springs Galleria, which is the mall here. But we're gonna head 
right over I-65 and see the hills that surround Cool Springs. And we're gonna go to one of the other top five neighborhoods that's right down, like right in the heart of Cool Springs. Okay, so now we're coming into McKay's Mill, which is a neighborhood right off of McEwen, and you're really in the heart of Cool Springs. You've got your own Publix grocery store here, which is just like a Kroger. Um, you've got a few little shops, cleaners, not something like West Haven where you have all of your amenities that you would need, but you're also right in the heart of Cool Springs, so everything is five minutes away. But these homes in here are a little bit bigger lots, but you're still on some smaller lots here. You range from townhomes all the way to single families. Um, what's the square footage that it range from? Anywhere from 2,100 to 4,500 square feet. Yeah. It's gonna be hard to get into McKay's Mill for under $700,000. You've got averages around 800, 850, all the way up to a million dollars. And this is mainly because of the prime location and just mature trees, sidewalks. You get, a, you get that hilly, you know, feel like you're not in the Cool Springs area. Um, it feels like a quiet neighborhood, a nice little community. You see people walking to the grocery store, um, which is nice, and, but you're also in the heart of Cool Springs and three minutes off of I-65, which gets you to downtown Nashville in just under 20 minutes. Yeah. I mean, as I'm driving through here, it just feels more spacious, and right? it's hilly. It's very you see, hilly. You have the hills. Like, look at this hill. You're in this, you're in like this forest that's kind of tucked away, but you're so close, like Brandon said, to Cool Springs and all the shopping. Now, the homes are a little bit older. Mm -hmm. You're yeah. looking at older homes. These are all, you know, mostly brick homes. Earlier 2000s, but it's a massive neighborhood. So it's had a lot of phases, but yeah, they're not the new construction homes. If you want new construction, you're not gonna find it here in McKay's Mill. You do have amenities, you do have tennis courts, you do have pool. So what's the big selling point here for McKay's Mill? It's location, prime location. You're right off of I-65, you're in the heart of Cool Springs. It really doesn't get better than this when it comes to location. All right, so the biggest thing here is location. I mean, what I'm seeing here, I mean, these are pretty nice homes. I mean, they've got three older. car garages. Got here. three car garages all throughout here. Not going to um, be everywhere in McKay's Mill, but the this homes, section. the homes sit off a little bit from the street. It's a little bit different than West Haven. And then again, you still have your sidewalks. I mean, these are some serious hills around here. Oh yeah. So you do get a walk. I was going to say it'd probably be a nice little walk to the grocery store, but I guess that kind of just depends on where you are in the neighborhood. Yep. But with a three-car garage, you could have a golf cart. Golf cart. This is more of your traditional style homes. There's some that are main one-level living, typical two-story homes throughout here. Anywhere from 2,100 square feet to 4,500 square feet. Um, anywhere from three to five bedrooms, two to five bathrooms is kind of where you are. There are like townhomes inside of McKay's Mill, but you're gonna see majority single family homes throughout. So McKay's Mill, location, more space. Very walkable neighborhood. Walkable feels neighborhood, good. feels great. Mm -hmm. And a little cheaper price point. Yep. What about schools? What schools do we have access to here? So you've got access to um, Centennial High School. You're also, depending on where you are, the zoning gets weird every year just because of the amount of people moving here, but you also have access to Page Middle School, Page High School. Um, just kind of depends what you're zoned for. Um, but yeah, there's it's all gonna be Williamson County Schools. That's what we're getting inside of McKay's Mill and all of this entire tour, which is Franklin. It's all gonna be Williamson County Schools. You're not There's not some massive drop off in quality of a school anywhere you go inside of Williamson County. All right, so before we go back through the heart of Cool Springs, we're gonna stop at another neighborhood, which is the Tours of Avalon. There's multiple phases of Avalon. Multiple sections, yep. But the front phase, when you walk, come in right off of Cool Springs Boulevard, you are, you're looking at about, you know, 4,000 square foot homes that were built in 2005, 2006 timeframe. And those are, there's two for sale right now for around $1 million. Now, as you work your way up the hill, you get into a 2010-ish time frame, and these are gonna be estates. Um, these are gonna be tucked away on multiple acre lots. You're private, you're secluded, and you've got well over 4,000 square feet in these homes. Yeah, I mean, these are your million dollar home, multi-million dollar homes. I mean, look at that beautiful home up there. We're gonna go up there, you can see it. This is like a, a playground for mansions. Mm -hmm. That's what it feels like. Yep. You feel like you're at your own private park right here. 
your own private um, like national reserve out here. Uh, plenty of, most of these homes are on five plus acres, minimum 5,000 square feet. I think one of the biggest homes here is, is that's for sale right now is over 12,000 square feet. Yeah. So. And this is the same exact proximity as we were talking about with McKay's Mill. So you're getting this seclusion and the hills and the privacy and custom mansions yeah. right in the heart of Cool Springs, yeah. but you have no idea that you're Yeah, and you have a variety. So if you're someone that's looking for, I mean, if you're looking for you know four to five bedrooms, uh, a little older home, you can be in this neighborhood for just over a million. Um, if you wanna go big and get one of these crazy, crazy um, upscale mansions, 5,000 plus square feet, you can do that as well. Mm -hmm. And and I would say the price range there is anywhere from, you know, three to four million dollars, probably like your average. Yep. I mean, there's a few listings right now. One's about eight million dollars, a couple in the fives. So that's kind of what you're getting here in this hilltop phase of Avalon. <music> Yeah, so as you can see, the drive from Avalon into town was short. Yeah. Short and sweet. Two minutes, and you're in the east side of I-65, which is where primarily the majority of all the office spaces are. Um, corporate headquarters are here. You've got Nissan, you've got Mitsubishi, you've got yeah, uh, Schneider Electric, some massive buildings that employ a ton of people. Yeah. That's all right here on the east side of Cool Springs. Yeah, and a lot of the people that live in Avalon are your executives and people that work in these these bigger companies. And so you're super close to work, uh, super close to shopping, dining. It's just a great, you're super close to the interstate and um, you're minutes to the airport. Yep. And we're just coming down Carruthers, which is has tons of other sh shopping, restaurants, office buildings like I talked about. Now, this is a Franklin tour, but Cool Springs actually seeps over into Brentwood as well. So we're actually driving, we're gonna technically be in Brentwood for a little bit. And there's some really interesting neighborhoods that are also like similar proximity that you feel like with McKay's Mill or Avalon, like you've got Brent Haven and that's where Ravenwood High School is. So um, very close neighborhoods. It feels like you're in Franklin, you know, but you're technically in Brentwood but we're not gonna cover those in this video. Just know we will do a Brentwood tour. It'll have some of Cool Springs in it. It'll have those neighborhoods in it. But I just wanted to touch on that. These, you're not limited to just a few of these, couple of these neighborhoods being in the heart of Cool Springs. You also have some that are in Brentwood technically. Another thing I wanted to touch on is Ravenwood High School, Avalon, and some of McKay's Mill. You're also zoned for Ravenwood, just depending where you are. Um, if you're living around Cool Springs, you're gonna have that Ravenwood High School area. But there's also Smith Park over there, Crockett Park, which is another massive recreational facility, fields, baseball fields, softball fields, soccer fields, indoor training, soccer, lacrosse. Um, that's all in the Crockett Park area. And that will be included in that parks video like I talked about earlier. So yeah, you have like over here, you have Publix, you have PetSmart, okay, your big box stores. You got some restaurants over here. What's your favorite restaurant over here, Brandon? I like Amerigo a lot. You like Cheddar's? Cheddar's is good, but Amerigo is an Italian restaurant. It's good. I think those are all chains anyways. So we're crossing the interstate now, headed back over to the west side of Cool Springs. You got Best Buy, you got the fa Nike factory store, you've got RH Outlet over here. Um, you've got Golf Galaxy over there. You also have your Porsche dealership, your BMW dealership your Bentley, your Rolls Royce, all of that is over here, right off of Moore's Lane. Now we're gonna go down Mallory Lane, take you on the east side of I-65, um, which is the east side of Cool Springs. All right, so here we are down Mallory Lane, and uh, first grocery store to our right. Aldi. You have Aldi. You got Barnes & Noble, there's gonna be Costco over here to our left is Target. And then also the Cool Springs Galleria. So you have all of your shopping inside of the, the mall. Um, and like I said, guys, this is where people come to do most of their shopping, dining. By the way, Brandon, what's your favorite restaurant out here in Cool Springs? I'm gonna have to say Perry's Steakhouse. Perry's Steakhouse. Yeah. Out of all the restaurants here, Perry's Steakhouse. For a nice restaurant, yeah, but steak. nice steak or something like that, or just, I mean, everything what there, about like just, What about a good, like, healthy uh, lunch? 
so there's a few different options. Core Life Eatery, I would say, would be my top one. Core Life? Core Life Eatery. Mm -hmm. Really fresh. Boo's Kitchen. Boo's Kitchen, that's great. Vietnamese food. Mm -hmm. If you want some fried chicken, that's a hole in the wall type place, that's Maniacs. By the way, guys, we're, we're gonna put together a free resource for you where um, you can click the link. We'll have um, a guide to Franklin, and then we'll also have a little tour that you can click on whenever you're in town um, that you can just kind of follow the path of that we think is the best. It's a driving tour. The best driving tour that you can take to get a good view, good feel for Franklin. You also have Academy Sports, Dick Sporting Goods. I've already touched on Trader Joe's. Um, you've got Sun and Ski Sports. I need to go get my snowboard wax for the season. But yeah, over here is the mall. It's massive. Macy's, JCPenney, Dillard's, you know, all the Cheesecake typical Factory. ones. California Pizza Kitchen is in there. You got Connor Steakhouse, that's really good. I mean, you pretty much have it, have it all right here. Have everything you need. Now the traffic does get a little crazy during rush hour. Traffic is pretty horrible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you're not gonna wanna go through Cool Springs every day, especially during like peak times. It just gets kind of congested. So you need to know your back roads around here because there is some nice little like weave through few different areas and get through it all but it's definitely not a enjoyable drive during the, peak time. the only stores that are really missing here which you'd get in Green Hills Mall which is like close to downtown Nashville which you're about 20 minutes away from is your Gucci your Burberry you know the higher end designer stores those are gonna be in the green huh Saint Laurent. Saint Laurent. yeah so those are all gonna be in the Green Hills Mall Ralph Lauren Pretty much everything in Nashville is about a 15 to 20 minute drive away. All right guys, so now we're on the other side of where we were just a few minutes ago. We are on Hillsborough Road and we're coming up on Legends Ridge, which is another popular neighborhood, um, exclusive neighborhood that's been around for a while here in the Franklin area. These are large custom estate homes. How close are we to Cool Springs from here? You're about 12 minutes. There's a, few, there's a couple different routes you can take, but I'd say about 12 minutes to Cool Springs. So what's the big selling point here in uh, Legends Ridge? So you're gonna have large lots, custom homes, mature trees, it's a mature neighborhood, proximity to Nashville, Hillsborough Road, you can take you right into downtown Nashville, uh, which you're also about 12 minutes away to Cool Springs. And you have the secure neighborhood, you've got security. Um, so that's a plus, not every neighborhood obviously in Franklin has that. So as I'm driving down here, I see um, there are no sidewalks. There are no sidewalks here. No sidewalks. It, you know, it is a mature neighborhood, but there aren't a lot of trees to make it feel like, it doesn't feel as comfortable as the other neighborhood. Well, the thing is, you, you wanna know what that is, is there's not a median in the roads. Like a median in the, ro in the road for both lanes of traffic, having that middle median with trees in it makes a huge difference. But even though in the yards, like, I mean, yeah, you see, they're not as like those big lush green trees that we see in like West Haven and we see in, in those other places. Well, cause you, mean, it's so hilly up here. That's yeah, why I mean, you have a yeah. lot of, you have big lots, you've got ponds, so you've got some water, but yeah, you're right. It's not, there's not a sidewalk. It's not super walkable. I mean, it's very hilly. You're not gonna wanna, unless you just love the burn, you're not gonna go out on a walk all the time. Um, but you have some really amazing homes yeah. in this neighborhood. I'd say they, you know, look like they were probably built in like the early 2000s. Correct. Early 2000s, you have that brick facade here. Uh, but you do have, look like you have some amazing views. Of, well, if you get up here to the top of the hill, you have some amazing views of the hills of Franklin. So these homes go all the way up to 8,000, 9,000 square feet. Um, you have amazing views from the top up here, as you can see. Oh. Um, but you'll see homes in here, 7,000 square feet, 6,000 square feet all day long. Like I said, these are some, these are estate style homes, mansions. What are the price, what's the price point? Well, there's three different listings right now. Um, they're all close to $3 million. And those are, some of these were built in late nineties. So you've got some in the two thousands, early two thousands, a couple in like 1998, 97, 96, um, around that range. So some of them, aren't as updated, but you also have, you know, over the years they've been updated. You still have that 7,000 square foot footprint and you've got prime location with, I mean, this is where I'd want my house. I'd want it right up here on the hill. I want the one on top. Cause okay. you have an amazing view of Franklin and the hills of Franklin. 
and it looks amazing with the fall leaves changing. So uh, that is gonna conclude our full tour of Franklin. We hope that it brought you guys some kind of value. Um, again, if you're looking to buy, sell, relocate to the natural area with the Coleman Johns Group, we help people relocate from all across the country, people just like you looking to find their home. And so uh, whether you're looking to move in 30 days or six months, reach out to us at our con contact information below. We're here to help you. Yep. That's why we make these videos. That's why we make these videos. Guys, please leave uh, comments. Let us know what else you want to see from us. We're going to be putting out a lot of videos here. And um, we have a lot of free resources linked below for you to use. So be sure to get those, download them, use them, send them to your friends who are relocating here. We're here to be a resource for you. I'm Sam Coleman Answer with the Coleman Johns Group. And I'm Brandon Johns. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next episode.